guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Shalina and I post all content fashion. So if fashion is your thing, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do like this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot. In today's video, I'm going to be styling up denim shorts. So I've got two pairs. I've got these black ones, which are from H&M and I got them last year. And then I've got the exact same shorts in a denim blue. I'm looking over there because they're hanging over there. Um, that I picked up as well last year and I just wore them loads. They're like the perfect length for me. Not No bum cheek hanging out, which is just not my thing. Um, and they're nice and high-waisted as well, which I love. I'll try and find something similar and link it down below. So as I said, I'm just gonna style these up in the way I would style them and wear them genuinely in my day-to-day -day life. And then, yeah, hopefully that will give you some inspiration and you can have a look in your wardrobe and pull things out that you have and think of ways that you would style them getting ready for summer. It's still a bit cloudy a little bit brighter today in London but it is quite grey still so um, yeah I don't anticipate pulling out my shorts in the next few weeks but hopefully come June fingers crossed we'll get a bit of sun and we can start getting our legs out so let's jump straight into the video okay so I just wanted to show you the shorts that are in the denim blue so these are the ones that I bought from H&M I think they're just a lovely shade of blue I love the wash on these ones um, I might look for a pair of off-white denim this year as well because through the summer I'm either dresses or denim shorts I don't really wear much else um, I don't like having to find skirt top combos I think with denim it's just like wearing jeans you can wear any tops with them so and um, that's why I tend to go for these because I just find them the easiest thing to chuck on in the morning okay so for the first look I am showing blazers so I do usually pair blazers with denim shorts I think it gives it a more and um, if you're wanting to make them look a bit more sophisticated then adding a blazer does the job perfectly plus blazers are actually super comfortable I know sometimes we have that image of them being uncomfortable and stiff but you can get beautiful lovely comfortable blazers these days this one is from mango I think I got it last year or the year before I mean you can find a black blazer anyway I do think mango do really nice ones equally Zara or Arquette anywhere like that um, I'd say it's a bit more of an investment piece for me find one that you love and you love the fit of um, because you'll wear it for years and years and years so I've just teamed it with a crop top this one's um, quite old I think it's River Island I must have had it for more than eight years um, and then I've popped on a belt with my denim as well I always like to add a belt I just think it sort of lifts the outfit a bit um, and then I've got the black denim on and my black dad sandals so it's an all black look but I don't mind wearing an all black look in summer I'm not opposed to wearing black in summer I do like the colors but again yeah I don't mind going for an all black look for me this could be one that you take into the evening as well so you know the usual add a pair of heels add a red lip maybe change out your earrings for something bigger and you're good to go so this is my first blazer look okay so for this next blazer look I have gone for more of a cropped blazer this one is from the mango outlet I believe it's still um, available so I will link it if I can find it and then again I've gone just with the black shorts it just ties in the black buttons from the blazer again I quite like this look I always always do wear my blazer sleeves up and I do find that if you're petite like me I'm five foot three then crop blazers do lend themselves well to my fit um, to my height sorry so um, yeah I definitely if I'm wearing a blazer clothes I tend to only get cropped blazers and then if I've got a long line blazer I wear them open as a petite person so um, having said that this is another look again if you want to wear this out in the evening I think because of the smartness of the blazer it, it will easily carry through until the evening just as I said add some heels or you know add a smarter shoe and this look as well you could wear um, loafers or espadrilles I think that would work just as nice as well so again I've just got it with my dad's sandals because this is how I would wear them I would wear espadrilles with them as well but I haven't got any at the moment so yeah a nice look um, I do like also wearing long sleeve things with shorts in the summer weird I know um, but I quite like the look of it so this is another look you could go for then I just wanted to show you how you can make the blazer look a bit more casual so if you pair it with the blue denim then I think it makes it look that bit more casual for daytime also I can tuck this one up just a bit as well which I think makes it look a little bit more casual too whether you like doing that with blazers or not totally up to you if that's your if you like it then do it so this is my version of the blazer with the shorts in a casual way okay 
Okay, so if you want to add a colour pop, then you can add a t-shirt. So that's an easy way of doing it. So I've just paired this H&M t-shirt. Um, I love the red and the pink together with my blue denim, but again, it will work with the black denim as well. Um, and then I've got a black belt on with a gold buckle, so that kind of ties in the sandals too. And then I've got gold jewellery on to tie in the gold too. I probably would also wear the black dad sandals because it ties in with the black on the belt as well. So you've got a few options there. You can put trainers on too if you want this to be really casual. You could throw a blazer on top if you want to dress it up a little bit. Or if you're feeling a bit cold, then go for a jacket or something like that. But um, a really, really easy daytime summer look. And I think this is also really practical if you know you have to sort of be running around doing things. You're not just going somewhere to sit down. Then this is still really cute, but also um, really practical. Okay, and then another super casual look. I've got my um, white high top converse on with just a white t-shirt, it's just an oversized fit, and I've just tucked it in a little bit at the front. Then I've just added some fun earrings to give it a bit of a lift. Um, so yeah, this is another nice, super easy, casual summer daytime look. Okay, it's actually started to rain outside, which is a little bit depressing, seeing as I'm filming a summer video, but you know, it is London. So moving on to linen shirts. So I've got this linen shirt from Zara, which I really like. It's kind of in a sort of, like a sort of biscuity oatmeal color. Um, and I really like the cuffs on them, the wide cuffs. So you can roll them up if you want to. Uh, I do like a sort of rolled up sleeve look. I've also just tucked in the front because it is quite a long line one, as you can see from the back. I don't mind the back hanging out, but I do like it to be a bit more up at the front, especially as I am short. So this is another look. I could easily pair this with my uh, black denim shorts as well, so it can create another look with that. And I'd actually also wear this out in the evening with the black denim shorts, and then I'd probably put on heels or um, heeled boots to go with it, the, like ankle boots could look quite nice. I do quite like the look of ankle boots with shorts as well. So you could definitely get um, a couple of looks out of this one as well. I also just wanted to say a couple of things to consider when you are buying denim shorts. Obviously they come in so many different lengths and cuts. Um, so just a couple of things to think about. Um, I'm obviously petite, so I don't want ones that are too long on the leg, otherwise they will cut me off. Equally, I don't want my butt cheeks hanging out either. So I feel like these are like the perfect length for me because they they more than cover the butt cheek, but I don't feel like they really cut me off in, in the wrong way. Um, I think if I was gonna go for like Bermuda style shorts, they wouldn't probably suit my figure. Not only am I on the shorter side, but also I have slightly wider thighs, so I feel like they would um, not uh, flatter my shape well. Whereas these ones which have a lot of space in them, I think just flatter my figure a lot more. So those kind of things to consider. I also um, buy my in a size up so I'm a UK size 10 but I buy them in 12 not only does it allow for weight fluctuations which my weight does fluctuate but it also just means that they're that bit more comfortable when I'm sitting down after I've eaten so I don't need to worry about you know undoing the, the button after I've eaten so um, yeah and I really like that so I just use a belt um, if I really feel like they're loose on a particular day I'll just use a belt to hold them up or you know I can go without a belt they'll just sit a bit lower so if I want them a bit high, more high waisted I'll just add a belt on so definitely do try a few different cuts on yourself and see how they look. I think the main thing to think about is just making sure that you're comfortable in them because I think the more comfortable you are, I think the more your outfit shines. So um, just make sure that you're not always worried about your butt cheeks hanging out um, and having to pull them down or even that they're too um, short over here and that they're rubbing together. Um, so yeah, just um, try on a few different cuts. Do them all at the same time if you can so that you can compare and contrast and see what you feel most comfortable in. Don't forget when you're in the fitting room, hopefully if there's a chair in there, sit down and make sure you're comfortable sitting down and you're comfortable with the length when you sit down as well. Okay, so I've got another linen shirt here, very similar colour to the other one. It's a little bit lighter in the shade, but this is a lovely cropped boxy fit, which I really do like. Um, and it sort of has um, a really nice way of sitting at the back as well, which I love. So these I would either wear with the black or the blue. Um, I quite like the crop fit on my height as well. And the fact that the the, um, I've, I've lifted up the high-waisted shorts with the belt so they sit higher. But yeah, I really like this look. I've just paired it with my dad sandals. So again, if you're short like me, look for a boxier, you can look for a boxier cropped cut if you like. Um, I feel like this gives me that illusion of 
the um, longer legs as well. So this is another look I go for in the summer. So moving on to vests. This one is just a really nice slinky fit. I think it's from the H&M active wear range, but you know, I'm not that active. I know I should be. Yeah, I really like the sort of slinkiness of it. I believe it's a viscose. It feels like a viscose. That gives it a really nice drape. So I've teamed this with black and then black boots. I know this ain't gonna be for everyone, but I quite like chunky boots with denim shorts in the summer. Um, these chunky boots are really old. I got them from ASOS. It must be three, four years ago now. And they've lasted really, really well. I'm really pleased with them. They're really dirty, so they don't look too close. They're also really light, which is why I don't mind wearing them in the summer. Plus, they're a bit more narrow than my, I've got some other chunky boots which are quite chunky. These ones are, I would say, more narrow in fit um, and they look slimmer on the legs. So that's why I don't mind wearing them in the summer. I don't think I'd wear my other ones because they are very chunky and I think they would probably look a bit too autumn winter so um, yeah definitely I would wear these ones so again I've just paired it with the black denim but you could swap this out for the blue denim if you wanted to and then if you want something a bit brighter obviously it's summer we wear dark colours all the way through autumn and winter so um, just switch out the vest top um, for whatever colours you've got white is probably a nice colour to wear and a really easy one to style so you could just go black and white if you wanted to or just do denim shorts in blue and a white vest that would also look really nice. And here is another way of doing vests. So this is actually a knitted jacquard vest that I got from Zara recently. So I will link it down below. I've worn it loads since I've had it actually. And I know it's not a sort of typical summer piece, but I like it. So I'm gonna go with it. It's got some lovely bronze and gold tones in it. So I pulled that out again in the belt and in my jewelry. And I've just paired it with this Monica Vinader necklace as well. So, and then, and then the dad sandals to like dress it down, pull in the black as well. So um, I would definitely wear this like this in the summer probably not a blazing hot day because you know it's still knitwear and I mean it's sleeveless but it's you know still got a little bit of thickness to it but I think on those days where it's not as hot and you but you still you know want a little bit of warmth but you're still wanting to get your legs and arms out then this is perfect I love this top so um this is another look I would wear I also just forgot to mention that this is a, another look that you could easily take into the evening if you wore it in the day with black denim then just switch out your shoes again but I mean you could still wear it with with blue denim, denim and wear it at the evening again just switch out the shoes it's it's really it's that simple I just wanted to show you that it really is that simple see just add the blazer and the heels you're good to go Okay, moving on to um, shirts. So I've just got this short sleeve. Uh, it's quite an oversized fit shirt. You guessed it, it's from H&M. It's a few years old now. I've seen, so I did buy some cycling shorts from H&M and they'd styled it really nicely with like an oversized blue shirt like this one. I think it was pinstripe and a leather jacket. And she's wearing a baseball cap as well. So that's probably how I would wear it. It's very much my style. So you could put cycling shorts on with these as well, but I would just, I mean, this is quite a long line one, so that would cover my bum because I don't really like the bum hanging out in things like cycling shorts and leggings. But I've just got this one on with my All Saints leather jacket that I finally managed to get my hands on. I got, I was waiting to see if I could get it second hand, which I did. I got it for a great price and I saved like 150 getting it second hand. So it's in great condition, it's barely been worn, so really happy about that. Anyway, I'm digressing. Again, I've just got it on with my dad's sandals, a nice casual look. Obviously, if you didn't really wear the jacket, if it was too hot for the day, let me get rid of that. Um, then this is how it would look. I have just pulled this out of my summer storage, so it is very creased, so ignore the creases. But I would just tuck in the front and then um, just leave it hanging out all the way around, really. So this is my um, shirt summer look. And then just my second shirt look. So this is just a short sleeve white cotton shirt from, you guessed it again, H&M. Oh my God, I never realized most of my wardrobe was H&M. Probably is just H&M and Zara to be fair. Um, and then I've just popped on a trench coat with it if you needed that bit of extra warmth or rain protection as you probably would in London. Excuse the creases, it was in my laundry basket as it needs a wash. This is from, oh, let me check. I think it's from Vera Mo but I got it on Larry Duke, so I will link it. Yes, it is Vera Moda, and I got it in a medium, but I absolutely love the color of this. It's like the perfect color I've been searching for, so a great 
trench coat if you're after one. And um, this is the shirt. I would probably wear a few buttons undone, so I just like the way it looks. Um, but yeah, again, it's a bit longer on the back. I mean, most things are long on me, let's face it. And then I've just got the black belt on. Again, you could switch this out for the black denim as well. Dad sandals, chunky boots. I mean, there's so many ways you could do it with all the things that I've shown you. But um, this is a nice casual look. And then I've popped it on with my major trainers, but you could put on Converse. They'd be a bit more lighter for the summer if you wanted something a bit lighter. Again, espadrilles would work. Um, any kind of summer sandal footwear would work with this look. It's so simple and easy and just, yeah, an easy throw on comfortable outfit. Okay, and then the last category is sweaters. So I really like the whole sweater short combo. So I've just put on this, I'm not even gonna say where it's from, because you know, this sweater with the blue denim. Again, you can wear it with black denim, you can wear it with white denim. And then I've got my white Converse on. Um, the belt's kind of hidden, so I'm not too fussed that it doesn't tie in with the shoes. I've got black Converse, could switch them out if I needed to. But yeah, I like this. Again, I like to wear the sleeves um, pulled up slightly. But again, I like this is just a really comfy, if it's not boiling hot outside, look. But I mean, I don't get as cold on my legs as I do on my upper body. So yeah, I would probably wear this on a day where it's not too bad actually. But I really like this look. Um, it's so simple, it's so comfortable. It's just easy, easy, easy peasy. Okay, the sun's coming out, um, but I mean, it's still gray, so it's gonna rain again. So this is my second sweater look. Uh, so I've got this cream sweater with the zip detail, which I think is quite nice for um, a sort of summery kind of day because you can have the zip down if you wanted to. I you can pull the collar down if you wanted to, so it doesn't look as sort of wintry. Um, but yeah, I've just tucked it in a little bit at the front. Again, if you've got things like striped um, sweaters, I think that could look really nice with black denim as well, or even just a long sleeve t-shirt, a striped one would look really nice as well for the summer if you want a little bit more warmth, like I said. But yeah, I have teamed this with the boots. I like this look, I know, again, it won't be for everyone. You could just pop on some sandals with it and do it that way. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and got a few styling ideas. I hope these videos help you to see how you can put things together that are in your wardrobe rather than going out and buying new things. So do take a look at what you've got first and you know, pull them together, have a day where you spend um, pulling outfits together, take photos of them so you don't forget. And then it's like an easy, almost like catalog of your own wardrobe that you can refer to when you are getting dressed in the morning. So um, if you did like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.